Hi there, students. Okay, <laughs> this video is about words about being snobbish. Words about posh people who think they are better than everyone else. The first thing I think I ought to do is explain the difference between posh and snobbish. Somebody who is posh is somebody who has a high social position. It's not a criticism, it's not a pejorative word. But a snob is a person who has exaggerated respect for high social position and wealth. A snob wants to be with, to mix with important rich people. Yeah, A snob looks down on uh, people who th that they think are socially inferior. Okay, So a snob yeah, is different from posh. Okay, the first word is pompous. Okay, if somebody is pompous, they think they are superior. They're affectedly grand and self-important. They have exaggerated self-esteem and they are very proud of their high social position. And they always have a lot of ceremony to go with their pomposity. Yeah? They are always doing certain things uh, to show how important they are. Okay, this word comes from Latin, pompous, which means uh, uh, ceremony. Yeah? And in English we still have a word pomp, which means ceremony, display, ceremony that shows uh, all of the uh, organized and all of the uh, most uh, flashy uh, sides of something. So, for example, um, when the Queen opens Parliament, it's an event with great pomp, yeah, state ceremony with all the uniforms and all the guards and uh, all the all all of the different uniforms. But if you're pompous, then you are showing a lot of pomp to show how grand and self-important you are, yeah? When I hear the word pompous, I always think of the phrase, a pompous ass, yeah? So he's always doing things with uh, uh, a great deal of ceremony to show that uh, he's better. Yeah? He speaks very pompously. He uses very long and confusing words so that ordinary people won't understand him. Yeah? An official could be pompous, or a speech could be pompous. Yeah? Okay, so it's puffed up with vanity, with self-pride, and with a lot of ceremony to show this. The next word is haughty. If you're haughty, you are you feel that you are arrogantly superior and you have a low opinion of others. Yeah? So if you're haughty, you are very self-elevated in position in your opinion. Yeah? Haughty comes from the French word haut, H A U T, which means high. So if you're haughty, you feel you are above everyone else and you look down on them because uh, you are certain that you are much more important than them. Yeah. So pompous has an idea of a lot of ritual to show your importance. Haughty implies that you are above everyone else and looking down on them. Yeah? You, you, somebody could have a very haughty attitude. He gave me a haughty look, yeah, showing that he was superior to what I was doing, yeah. Okay, this has an idea of being vain and proud and snobbish, yeah. Okay, haughty, elevated in your own position. 
The next word is imperious. Okay, if somebody is imperious, again, they are arrogant and they think they're better than everyone else, but they are domineering. They order everyone about. They are overbearing. They are the leader because they are better than everyone else and they know better than everyone else. And that's why they are telling everyone what to do because they're just better. They're just more important. Okay, imperious comes from Latin again. Yeah, imperator, the emperor, the commander. Or maybe you know the word an imperative. I'm sure you do. You if an imperative is a grammatical form that says you must do this yeah if somebody is imperious they are overbearing they are always telling people what to do and not letting people decide for themselves okay supercilious okay supercilious if somebody is supercilious again they are arrogant full of pride but they have scorn or indifference. They have a bad opinion of all their inferiors. So somebody who's supercilious looks down on their inferiors or they don't care what happened to, happens to others because they're just of lower status, yeah? This word supercilious comes from Latin again, supercilium, the eyebrow, yeah? I wonder why those two are uh, joined. Maybe it's something to do with raising your eyebrows. I don't know. Maybe you've got some ideas on that. Okay, so all of these are really formal words. Yeah, these are uh, six and a half, seven, seven and a half in formality. Yeah. I've got another word as well, sniffy. But sniffy is a posh, informal word. It's to be scornful or contemptuous of something, to have a low opinion of it. So he, he's always sniffy about my cooking. He doesn't think it's very good. With this word sniffy, I always have the idea that the person wants to smell it to see if it smells bad if it smells rotten or something like that so notice all of these words are posh but sniffy is posh in form yeah okay if somebody is sniffy about something they don't like it they uh, have a rather low opinion of it yeah so yeah somebody who's pompous is sniffy about lower classes in a ceremonial manner somebody who is haughty is sniffy about other people because they are above them somebody who is imperious is sniffy about the ability of uh, other people to decide what they want because they're inferior and somebody who is supercilious is arrogantly proud and they don't care about others they're sniffy about uh, what happens to others because it just doesn't matter so let's just look at them again so pompous Pom pompously as an adverb pomposity as a noun yeah it's a critical word he's a pompous ass yeah he has exaggerated self esteem and he's pretentious and he's always doing posh things to show how important and how good he is haughty an adjective again haughtily a criticism he treated me terribly haughtily yeah he's arrogantly superior because he's elevated above everyone else S imperious imperiously a criticism again uh, meaning that you are better than everyone else and therefore you are the commander you're the boss because nobody else should have an opinion because you're just so fantastic supercilious superciliously yeah somebody who is proud and has a very low opinion of inferiors or you just don't care about your inferiors 
And then sniffy, an informal word, sniffily. You can even say he sniffed at my food. He didn't like it. He had a bad opinion of it. Yeah? So to disdain something, to feel scorn or contempt because it's not very good. Yeah? So it's got this idea of being snobbish. Okay? So try and use these words in the right place pompous haughty imperious supercilious these are really good words to write if you were writing a story these are wonderful words to describe a person's character remember sniffy is much more informal it's still a posh word but it's an informal posh word to have a low opinion of something i would use this one much more orally and then remember the difference between being posh, port outward starb at home, high class of high social position, and being a snob with exaggerated respect for high social position. Yeah? You don't have to be posh to be snobbish. Yeah? Although most posh people are extremely snobbish. Yeah? If you were of low social position, but you had exaggerated respect for the important and the wealthy, that's being snobbish. So anyway, enough. If you enjoyed the video, give it a rating, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now. Pompous, haughty, imperious, supercilious, sniffy, and snobbish a snob, snobbily. Bye for now.